to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left-hand corner, we have DM White. Actually, as the White Protoss, I'll call this White, even though it's like slightly greenish upper right-hand corner. We have How Dare You as the green Zerg. This is going to be BSL Season 12 Group A, Round of 16. Sorry, Round of 16 Group A, that's a better way to say that. This is on Blue Storm, which is an old school map from 2007, which I love. I think if you watched the previous games, you should have already been able to see it. This is, again, maybe going to be laggy. So as far as the micro goes, we really need to... I get, that's the thing I want to pay more attention to, where people are playing from. So DM White is a Chilean Protoss. I've seen him around. I know that he is a pretty decent player. He's part of DM, which is Disturbed Minds. And looks like he's opting. Wow, so he's going to just go for... Okay, I assume he's going to place a pylon and go for Forge Expand here, which is the typical thing. But this is kind of... It, it's interesting you put this probe out here so early, comparatively. Mining the gas right there throwing me off a little bit. We're seeing probably a 12 hatch opposite side, possibly an overpool. Zerglings on this map can be very strong because you have this little gap where they can sneak through this wide ramp otherwise, and of course this wide gap right there. And even back in the day, getting a good forge fast expand seal on this map was somewhat challenging based on positioning. But anyway, How Dare You is a Zerg player and we are seeing overpool. Zerg player from Poland. So this is Chile. Uh, so this is Chile. <laughs> I don't know why I just wanted to say it that way. It's Chile to Poland. So keep in mind, there is a decent amount of lag between these guys, which is going to make things, especially like drone micro and whatnot, a little bit more challenging. And that's where I wish there was a solution to that. Maybe as network speeds get magically better over time, who knows what the holdup of that is. We will get more. And I'm, I almost feel like that's one of the things that detriments the foreigner community the most is because you kind of need builds and you don't really get to practice in lagless environments comparative to like the Koreans. Drone heads up attacking that probe. That probe a little bit low on health, but that drone also needs to flee and be a little bit careful. Looks like he's going to meander back around. Was trying to block the additional hatchery, but instead that drone that was low on health is able to plant and be useful and build that hatchery, which will, I assume will spawn at full health. Just two Zerglings being produced, so how dare you playing a little bit more economically aggressive, trying to tag that probe, and very wisely, I like this play from White, opting to go for a Nexus first, because he sees that there's just fewer Zerglings overall, and doing the cannon afterwards, although timing on that, yeah, getting that cannon, it does have a probe in defense. Now here's the thing, there are four Zerglings out. With additional Zerglings produced, it looks like, okay, we are seeing at least six Zerglings, Oftentimes what you need to do is you need to pull probes to block that front door, just in case. Because the other feature of Blue Storm is it is kind of like a wide open area, as you can see. And Zerglings can just run around there freaking forever and be super, super annoying. Gateway actually in front. Okay, this is, I like this. So blockading here, so the Zerglings would have to go all the way around. But keep in mind, they can, they can sneak through here. I don't think the cannon reaches right this corner. You might get a shot off right there. Sneak all the way around and then dive into the main. Get scouting information, things like that. How dare you planting a hatchery in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, also grabbing his extractor. So that's going to be his third. Keep in mind, these are all rampless expansions. Blue Storm is very much about map control, and oftentimes it can turn into a starvation match, a simulator, just warping in the back corner for DM White. It's very much a map control map. Very much about map control. Um, so, and this was, I believe, in the era, it originally was in the era of three hatch, general three hatch play, but typically three hatch mutalisk. I think that might be what we're seeing from How Dare You. I don't know how old school or new school he is, honestly, comparatively. Zergling's trying to surround this probe, deny that information, actually able to sneak through that Zergling line. And, not get, and again, this is where lag might be a factor, where it's just harder to micro these Zerglings and harder to corral this probe as a result. Probe wandering in does see that natural expansion up, is going to wander up and also see that this layer is not spooling up. And what would be what would be an interesting play here? Yeah, even though the 150 minerals are there, maybe he was just delaying it. Wanted to give the impression of, so we do see Hydra list done. So maybe this is going to be five hatch Hydra to start off the bat. Actually, I'm almost curious if it would be like a tactical thing. If Zerg player takes an expansion bottom right hand corner, plops the layer right there, even though it's exposed, but perhaps to throw a Protoss opponent off. And I almost wonder if we're going to see how dare you kind of transition into a 973-ish build to deal with this. This is a technical third expansion. We'll see how many drones get plopped down there. It looks like we are seeing that sort of play. Here's the thing though. Hydralisk popping through that gap have to go through a single file with this cannon right there. They're going to eat damage the entire time. They can come from this corner up here and start 
moving in, but this is a pretty wide, if the Hydrals can get down here, this is a pretty wide open area for them to maneuver around, pick off cannons, things along those lines. Back corner we have that Cybernetic score, Stargate warping and Citadel of a Dune immediately to get, I assume that seven minute timing push, which is very popular. Three Zealots making their way out to try to force some drone production. We do see Hydralisk speed. And in the bottom right hand corner, some Hydralisk being produced out of this corner. We see two drones right there. So not exactly, I'll try to get a general drone count. So there's eight drones here, so not exactly the 973. Another hatchery being produced. So I think we're actually moving towards five hatch Hydra as far. So rather than going for any sort of early bust, careful clogging that gap. So it's trying to position there to tempt Zerglings in one on one. With these Hydralisks, these Zealots might want to, yeah, they're going to go ahead and back off, particularly when they do not have speed, and the Hydralisks end up with speed, level 1 weapons on its way. So, How Dare You is making his way towards, I think, that 7-minute timing push, which is really built more to deal with the, the 973 sort of style. Zerglings making their way across with these Hydralisks. I think this is going to be set up for 4-hatch, so I take it back, probably 4-hatch Hydra into an attempted contain. We'll have to see, though. It is possible How Dare You is just kind of going for his own style of build, his own style of timing. Initial Corsair is out. It's going to be able to take this initial Overlord down. Maybe take this initial Overlord down. Hydralisks are in position to perhaps save it. Not quite there. You can see the initial, and that's the gap I'm talking about. you got to be careful. Nice positioning on that cannon. That puts How Dare You in the red, so he's going to be a little bit slow to get additional units out. That, high, that Corsair is going to make its way to the north, get scouting up there. Temple Archives out. Three gateways down, so this is going to be four gateways overall. And... How dare you going to rely on gateway units in the mid game, getting a high Templar there. I like that play since that Overlord was taken down at that forward position. Another Overlord trying to make its way across. The Corsair wants to pick that off to make sure map control can be secured in the mid game. Hydalus again walking through that gap. You got to be careful with this. And how dare you still in the red, but getting his fifth hatchery in that bottom right hand corner. This is where it could be dangerous. This is a lot of Hydralisks. Zealot leg speed is still not there. I think it might have been cancelled. One cannon down. I don't think this is an all-in bust. We don't see additional units making their way across, but this Dark Templar is going to be able to force these Hydralisks back home. Already gotten two Hydralisk kills. The Overlord's making their way across, and if they get picked off... Oh, no! Let's see if he can shoot the gap. Actually, go north! No, okay. They're not going to. So Hydralisks set a distance. They need to be careful because now you have Zealots... Le I think leg speed got cancelled here. And then reinitiated, or perhaps for the weapons one was engaged a little bit earlier, simply because. And the, so now we see that Dark Templar did shoot that choke. Let's see if it's going to go for just straight drone kills, or it's just going to interrupt reinforcements. Sometimes you can plug this gap with that Dark Templar, and it just is supremely annoying. I might have missed some sort of attack here to the north, because one drone down. But this is a very thin natural all of a sudden, just 22 drones overall. So I'm assuming I missed some sort of drop or something snuck out there. Um, but additional drones getting... Wow, how dare you down to four, 24 drones. He's behind in supply, and this Dark Templar is just doing all sorts of havoc in this upper right-hand base. That's going to give a nice window for these gateways to start filtering through. We do see Dragoon range making its way. Finally, that Dark Templar being cleared up, but not before the main looks very, very thin. Natural Expansion does have... A full complement, but this is going to take a bit of time for How Dare You to kind of regroup. He has been sitting on three bases for a good period of time, so he's in a good economic position. He's looks like he's going to go ahead and back off this front door, looking for a little bit of a delay on that time. You do have two High Templar and a couple Zealots now making their way across to the Mineral only. And this is a lot of cannons on this front. Wow, that's a lot of cannons. So he was definitely expecting a Hydra bust that never came. He's going to be able to get another Overlord kill, it looks like, with this Corsair. And I feel like How Dare You's been a little bit slow to respond. Again, it might be kind of lag issues. A little bit slow to respond in defending a lot of the... Or keeping a supply up and also defending units out there. He does have this lair looking for Overlord speed. A handful of Dragoons being produced. So How Dare You is already getting a Dragoon force out. I feel like he's in an excellent position. He's sitting at a much higher supply count than How Dare You. A significant one. He's setting up to go ahead and take his mineral only. That's going to put in three bases versus three bases. But aside from that, I just don't feel like How Dare You has been able to keep up with his macro. Um, he's been supply capped several times. Hasn't really dealt with the Corsairs very well. It looked like he was going for kind of a five-hatch Hydra. Uh, Hydralis Contain is just now getting Lurker. Or did he cancel Lurker Tech? I think he got Lurkers. So, yeah, he does have Lurker Tech. But 
even while he has Lurker Tech, there's already a High Templar, there's already Dragoons to help deal with that, and DM White is just out macroing him in the interim. And again, Blue Storm can come down to just map control, and as long as DM White stays on top of his macro and keeps the, the unit count high, and can keep map control, I like the cannons there just in case there was an end around, actually. So that'll it'll provide some initial defense. I feel like DM White is in a stronger position going into this mid game. Playing a little bit defensively around this Nexus, usually <clears throat> what happens on this map is because of this kind of mid ridge feature, yeah, you want to play a little bit further forward with those units to kind of engage in Psy Storm and get that mischance fire. It's kind of an interesting artifact because it is kind of, you have to walk through the valley to, to utilize that internal gap. But at the same time, it's kind of at an odd angle, you know? It's at a diagonal rather than top down or left or right. It's not a cardinal direction, basically. It's more at a diagonal, which is an unusual map feature. Chasing down How Dare You's army as it's cycling down to the bottom left. We do see a probe in the upper left looking to take yet another base. Corsair looking for another Overlord kill bottom right. And How Dare You sitting in a defensive position to try to defend that Nexus that's just been discovered. These lurkers are lined up for that size storm. And honestly, these should easily, yeah, all three wiped out after one size storm and a volley of Dragoon shots. The Corsair was taken out, but this is going to be, yeah, you can see how dare you shelling up with, with first of all, trying to get a lurker in position to deal with engagements to the north, is dropping all sorts of creep colonies to try to defend this bottom right hand base. And White is just kind of cycling around, checking the mineral only, and has absolute map control. He can go ahead and take another base at will here. I'm not sure he wants to shoot this gap and really go for this, especially because so many creep colonies were invested in the bottom right. This might be, although he doesn't have eyes on it is the thing. So now engaging, the Lurker's out of position, one of them getting taken out before it was burrowed. His army a little bit divided. So he's going through a small gap, his army's divided, not really macroing well, but it doesn't matter. Good size storm over those Lurkers. Unfortunately, a High Templar wandering too far forward has 200 energy, but only gets a single size storm off. Some overlords making their way and reinforcements coming from the north. And because that army was split, looks like the rest of the units are coming all the way around. Looks like reinforcements are going to be able to meander in and take out the Zelts before they're even able to get on top of that drone line. So DM White expending a few units, not ultra efficiently. He still has map control. He still has a superior general army count. His level two weapons compared to zero upgrades on the opposite side. So still in a good situation. But critically, he needs to turn map control into stronger economy. Looking for that that additional base from his side. He has that mineral only mining, but hasn't established a fourth base overall. Engaging here in the middle of the map, Overlord's pressing forward just in case there are Dark Templar, and this should be... Well, it depends, because th that level two weapon's really chewing against this army. The Dragoon's getting distracted by those Overlords, though. The High Templar meandering in, looking for an, a Psy Storm opportunity. A little bit... Charging a little bit too far forward, gets picked off again. Also, White's... High Templar really, because of their just their positioning on this map, have been less effective than they would have been otherwise. Perhaps again because of lag, keep that in mind. Again, another High Templar getting picked off, but he still has overwhelming unit counts. He has overwhelming upgrades and is still able to press into this. It looks like three Hydalists were able to peek in this upper left-hand corner, somehow sneaking through that battle line, and are going to disrupt that additional base. He's checking out the 12 o'clock location. Both players setting up for a longer macro game. Three, and both players playing very, very defensively. Very, very shell-type game. Where we got three cannons down here. We still have two creep colonies in the bottom right-hand corner. Additional hatchery being plopped down to kind of get to the mid-game. What is this? This is kind of light for 14 minutes as far as the general hatchery count. But bottom left-hand corner, we have seven gateways up. Robotics facility continually bumping things. Another cannon just in case there was a tech switch, which is actually wise. Again, because he doesn't have eyes. Uh, and tech switch is is kind of a scary possibility. He's wandering up to go ahead and deny that mineral only. And really, this is what DM White can do, is he can just hold, he can just hang out here, try to post some observers down to the south, and just take his entire side of the map, macro up 200, and go from there. He's still got a dominant supply count. Still in a very dominant position that way. We see drop has been upgraded, so how dare you is going to try to break this contain, break the army by being more mobile, comparatively. High Templar are very slow, Dragoons a little bit annoying to deal with. Unfortunately, this Overlord army, as it's making its way bottom right, might end up getting caught in open field. And honestly, how dare you with this current army supply count? That's got to be a tip-off to how dare you. He's going to charge forward at those Overlords. It does take them time 
to unload. But here's the thing, yeah, I worry about how dare you going for a drop, because I don't think if he has any army split that he's going to be able to stop anything DM White's throwing at him. He's got this huge Dragoon Zealot Force on his front door, charging in now, and he's got all sorts of units that are making their way across the, the map in those overlords. Hydralis engaging bottom left. The Observer, I'm not sure. Okay, it is in range. Go ahead and kill that Lurker. A little bit of an empty storm right there, but he just has overwhelming units here. Another beautiful storm over all those Hydralisks, but here we have that drop over that huge cannon line at the main. Reinforcements trying to engage from behind. Sidestorm's catching all of that. That drop unloading a whole bunch of Lurkers. Let's see if they can go ahead. and They're not burrowing, though, because of the distraction at the main. And again, they can't walk through that gap, so they'd have to walk through a bunch of cannons to get into this defense. So how dare you in a bit of trouble. Finally burrowing right there, able to clear that probe line. So doing some economic disruption on white, but it's going to cost him, it looks like his natural expansion, his Hydralis then. And maybe the game. We'll see. Overlords making their way back. Several of them getting wiped out. I'm looking for... Now here's the problem for white. Do you reinforce and try to defend your your natural or do you just go for a base kill and try to reinforce the main? It looks like he does have zealots making their way across the middle of the map. Some Dragoons are trying to make their way across. Psystorm is going to be able to take out one of them as he's working on this mineral only. Honestly, I feel like he can just go ahead and abandon it, move the rest of the Dragoons forward. A high, a high Templar somehow managing to sneak into the main. It's going to get wiped out, and that's a lot of Dragoons. Some Hydralisks trying to engage right there. How many Hydralisks is that? That is a sizable enough Hydralisk force, but here's the thing. Still no upgrades. So if the Dragoons just turn and fight, they might actually be able to wipe that attack force out, but reinforcements should be able to clean that up for how dare you, but he's taking huge economic losses, and I don't think that was a better exchange for him. It looks like Zealots were able to wander in, clear out the rest of those Lurkers. Two Lurkers just sitting there in the upper left-hand corner, cannons warping in on top of them. Look, <laughs> Should be able to borrow, burrow and clean that up, but both players, you can see, having a little bit of trouble managing things. Here's the thing, though. How dare you is sitting at 16 pr drones overall. 16 workers. Yes, he is the bottom right-hand base, but he's effectively down to two base mining, and his main is very, very thin. Yes, he was able to disrupt, what, two cannons up there in the upper left, but this is basically three base Protoss versus two base Zerg, and not even that, because uh, not a lot of drones. Looks like a full round of drones were built right there. This is 129 supply versus 33. And DM White can just follow this up with a continued attack and should be able to clear things out. Looks like he's dropping some cannons just because of that risk of drop. All sorts of gateways. What is that? Nine count here in that back corner. A couple idle probes here and there. Having a little bit of trouble. Uh, he's starting to saturate that upper left-hand base, dropping some cannons defensively as well. Some lurkers morphing in. Still, wow, how dare you just saying, okay, if I gotta win this game, I gotta win it by being aggressive and just convincing DM White that he needs to stay at home base. If he drops in the natural expansion again, though, with all of these units, again, there's plenty of cannons there. It looks like the rest of that army for DM White grouping up. This is this is a long direction to retreat and reinforce, but here's the thing. With nine gateways, he can just rely on reinforcements. Overlord only able to drop a single lurker. That lurker going to get wiped out. Some zerglings and some lurkers moving in towards the main. But yeah, again, Dragoon's right there to reinforce. As long as an Observer gets there, they should be able to, to wipe the rest of that army out. And White, in the meantime, engaging this bottom right-hand base. Again, a little bit piecemeal, having trouble funneling down that ramp and keeping his army cohesive to engage that. At the main, some Psy Storms catching an Observer. I actually, I think that was a probe. Should be able to clean the rest of this army off. Some height, uh, and this is a little bit of an expenditure here, but not enough to make a difference, because look at this. Bottom right-hand base is just getting wiped out. Just completely getting annihilated, and that should be GG. Yeah, there's GG from How Dare You. So we'll move on to game two. DM White through some nice, uh, honestly, macro, some good decision-making, able to take game one. We'll move on to game two momentarily.